My name is Nico. I'm seven years old. How do seedless plants start? My name is Amaya Tucha, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Horticulture at UW Medicine. And so plants can propagate in two ways, sexually and asexually. Sexual propagation is through seeds, and seeds develop from the sexual organs of flowers. But some plants take a very long time to be able to propagate by seeds. For example, some trees can take a very long time until you can get a seed out of them. So what we do is we can propagate them asexually. And so what that is, is that we take a vegetative part of the, tr of, of the plant and we produce a new plant out of it. Some plants have natural vegetative structures. They, they propagate asexually in a natural way. We're not forcing them. Potatoes or onions, they produce bulbs and tubers. So if you take an onion and you plant it in the soil, you can produce a new onion plant that is not coming from a seed, but is coming from a bulb. Other plants like say um, grapevines or apples, they don't, in, in nature, they don't reproduce asexually. But we can use some techniques like grafting, cutting, the um, air layering, so that we can propagate them asexually. Some plants, they naturally are able to divide. We can separate one plant into many different plants and it's going to produce a completely new separated plant from the original one. And these plants are going to be clones. They are identical, they are the same, they have the same genetic information and they're going to have the same characteristics, which is different from if this plant would have started from a seed. Um, another way of asexually propagating is uh, by grafting. And this is actually used um, a lot on fruit trees. This is the original plant and we grafted this material right in here. And so you have this plant growing onto this other plant that is different. So there are certain con constraints to seed germination that we don't have when we propagate asexually.